Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. I'm a 17 year old filmmaker that likes to focus on videos such as tech videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs, and cinematic films. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video and why the title is named Why I Hate Samsung. In essence, this video is a review on the Samsung Galaxy J7. So I'll go ahead and kind of give you an overview of the phone and stuff like that such as specs. And the specs will also be on the screen so you guys can see it if you want, if you want more in depth specs. But I'm going to go ahead and just go into the basic specs. So this phone on Verizon costs $240. The display is 5.5 inches, has a front facing, 5 megapixel front facing camera and 8 megapixel rear facing camera. Those are some of the basic specs. So we'll also kind of go over the design with you too. So basically, as you guys can see, this will be on screen, but on the bottom it does have a home button. It has a back button and a multi-tabs button. It also on the top says Samsung, and there's a, spe a speaker, um, the f 5 megapixel front-facing camera, and a microphone. And if you flip it over to the bottom, there is also a microphone. There's also the charging port and the headphone jack, which I know some people really miss. So we'll go ahead and still stick to the front. On the left side, there are the volume rockers, so turn up and down. On the right side, there's the power button, all on the side of the phone. And on the back, there is the 8 megapixel rear-facing camera and the flashlight. And also, this, also the back comes off for a, it also has a removable battery. So I'm going to go ahead and jump more into depth of the review, honestly. So, basically, my experience with this phone has not been great. That is why I've titled this video, Why I Hate Samsung. Let me go ahead and jump into more in depth of what I just said. So as I first got that, got this phone, I looked at a bunch of reviews and stuff like that. Ooh, this phone looks nice. As a budget phone, $240, why not? Now, as I just used it for basic calls, messaging, web browsing, social media, it didn't seem that bad. I said, okay, what, it's only $240 a budget phone. This is pretty impressive for a budget phone. As I started using it, downloading more photos and videos and more apps, I realized this phone is slow, and that's, this is where the $240 budget J-Series started to show some wear and tear. So basically, the kind of point of this video is to kind of give you guys an overview of budget phones and should you buy budget phones or should you stick to flagship phones such as the Samsung Galaxy S series and the iPhone and my honest opinion if you want like a really powerful phone a huge daily driver with a bunch of apps gaming then do not buy budget phone go ahead and purchase yourself an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy S series that's basically the point of this video so after I just said all that it's kind of a rant and you can already tell that I'm not very excited about reviewing this phone but, I have to review it anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into more depth and show you guys how this phone is not really worth it. So, I'm going to go ahead and on screen you'll see some photos and videos and stuff like that of the camera. Showing you guys that the camera is not that great. Now, as you can see, this is a back facing, rear, rear facing camera, as well as front facing pictures. There's some videos. As you can see, the photos are, are okay, but as you can see, as the lighting's not that great, the, you can definitely see the quality, that's where it starts to lack. Also, a downside to this phone is it only has a 720 display, so the display is a little pixelated and stuff like that, and also when you want to watch YouTube videos, you cannot watch a video in 1080p, you have to watch it in 720p, which is definitely a problem for a lot of people, at least for me it is. Now, for the majority of most people, that's not that big of a problem. So kind of as we're wrapping up this video, the point of this video is basically just a review on the Samsung Galaxy J7. And kind of my review is basically saying don't purchase it. This is kind of the major point of this entire video. And kind of in, in general, budget products. It seems that budget technology never usually pays off. And you end up actually spending more money in the end from bu buying budget technology. So that's the, basically the end of the video. So, as you can see, a review of the Samsung Galaxy J7. Not as great as it's all cut out to be. 2017 model for so for 2017 phone that is not very impressive and my honest recommendation is I would not purchase this phone anyways guys before you go ahead and end the video from now on I'm going to do these little comments questions at every video at the end of every video go ahead and comment if, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube so the question of the day is going to be or the question of the week or whatever is going to be 
what phone are you currently using? And also, do you think budget phones are the best way to go, or should you buy more expensive phones, such as these big flagship phones? Anyways, guys, so if you guys do enjoy my content and my videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, also give this video a like, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Peace.